Hello and welcome to PLZ Soccer's Thursday Morning Bulletin, brought to you by Indigo Communications. Scotland assistant manager John Carver feels that set pieces may be pivotal when Scotland face Israel in their crucial World Cup qualifier on Saturday. Now The Scots have struggled from attacking set pieces, but they've brought in specialist Austin McPhee. He's been added to the backroom staff to address the issue. We haven't been great at set players, but Austin's come in as a, a specialist on set players. So we're hoping that he might give us the edge. He's, you know, he's gone to Aston Villa. He's got off to a really good start with Aston Villa. Uh, I think they've scored a couple of goals from set players. Fielder Stuart Armstrong said he was surprised but grateful for his selection, having not played a minute all season through injury. Armstrong has featured in three of the six recent meetings with the Israelis and he expects it to be a tense affair again. It's always been tight. Um, we've played them a lot um, over the last few years, so we know them well. And equally, they know us well. So um, it's always... It's always a good test, um, always an exciting game, um, and hopefully we have the edge. The Scottish Premiership is set to shut down for around a month in November and December of next season to accommodate for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Now, clubs have been consulted over plans to begin the season on the 30th of July before halting between the 13th of November and the 17th of December, the day before the World Cup final. Now, the final round of top flight matches will be played on the weekend of the 27th of May 2023, meaning the Scottish Cup and playoff finals would roll into June. But of course, plans still have to be finalised and approved. And centre-back for Kyle Tomori is back in England to set up for the first time in two years following his impressive form at AC Milan. The 23-year-old lifted the lid on life in Serie A. There was a bit of time where I needed to kind of adjust and you know see the way you know, the Italian football was and stuff like that. But... No, as I said, Milan was so so easy with me and trying to help me to to integrate as quick as possible. And um, I think that kind of relayed onto the pitch where I was feeling really comfortable and knew what I wanted to do. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune to the football show this afternoon at four o'clock exclusively on the PLZ Soccer YouTube channel. We'll continue our build-up to the huge game against Israel on Saturday.